For those of us who are surviving the uh, <coughs> blue faces here in the uncharacteristically cool uh, Florida, mid-Florida climbs during the tail end of the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo, it only seemed to make seemed to make sense to make the segue to Blue Mountain. Greg, if you, I had to try it. I mean, come on. There is a tremendous amount of interest right now in what's happening with LSA, but one of the things that's kind of fun about LSA is that everybody wants the cute little airplane. Everybody wants uh, the good, solid, basic airplane, but they want the panel. So let's talk EFIS and let's talk Blue Mountain EFIS. Uh, this is the EFIS 2. The EFIS 1 was the very first one that we built. This is way back, the uh, first one flew actually in 1997, which is kind of a long time ago for some of these folks. Uh, the EFIS 1 was almost the size of this panel here. The E2 we developed specifically for some of the smaller airplanes for the LSA, and it does exactly the same thing as our flagship EFIS 1 at 80% the size and at about 70% the price. ADI, HSI, moving map, built in autopilot, built in WASP GPS engine monitor, mm -hmm. and of course, as you notice, high-res terrain and 3D over-the-nose terrain. So you get everything that you'd want, everything that you need in one place. If you have this machine, a radio, and a transponder, you've got an IFR-capable airplane for a lot less than it would cost to equip it almost any other way. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. So essentially, you can go in here, it always, uh, always shows this arc shows you the range arcs, shows you where you are, where you're going to be, your course between, everything that you'd expect in a normal GPS and some of the things you wouldn't expect, like the autopilot functions. You can come in here and say, I'm out of 5,500 for 65, and you get an arc across the center that shows you this is where you're going to cross 65. So you don't have to whiz wheel this stuff and play with it and guess. We always have on flight plan, where are the nearest airports? What are the frequencies? How do I get there? On virtual VOR, which is something we cooked up, I can point a VOR or localizer at anything. This is actually pointing at an airport. Okay. So I can dial this to 20 to Copper Hill, and there's no localizer in Copper Hill. That's not your fault. So we can put one there if you want one. Mm -hmm. It takes three button clicks to do it. Simple to use, easy to use, easy to install. Most people do this in less than a day. This machine, actually, that I'm playing with is not the real one. This is the real one. Uh, on the back is all the electronics. This machine is about $9,000. For your back seater or your right seater, this is about 2000 This is a, a multi-pointer HSI. You can uh, go and set this up just about any way you'd like. I can go over here to say, uh, what's the nearest VOR? No one bothers to cross-check their GPS like you're supposed to because it's too hard. But if you do this, one button push, say, show me nearest, geo nearest VOR according to the internal WAS GPS. Point, look at your radio, that agrees, cross-check complete. This machine has a WASP GPS built in. It's a Rockwell Jupiter, 12 channel all in view. It's all billet aluminum, runs minus 40 to 85 Celsius, which means you can get it so hot you can hardly touch it, it still runs. If we were in Minnesota or in Florida on a day like this, uh, still fires up and runs fine in the cold, which is nice. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. We do have other machines, of course. We make a full line of these things. We've got five of them now. We've been at this a long time. This is our midsize, and of course we have the, the smaller one, and the not quite so smaller one. This one drops in a standard instrument hole. You pull out your airspeed indicator or your dead gyro, slap this one in. If you want something for primary use, you can put this one in. ADI, HSI, movie map, engine monitor. Most of these machines run 100 degrees a second, which is a great idea, if, unless you actually intend to recover from an unusual attitude. Don't try this with something small. Over and back. Yeah. Over and back, back. You know, it's like, 
she stays right there. This will run to 420 degrees a second, which means you can take this in any of these airplanes and do back-to-back -back snap rolls. You notice also there's a G-meter up here at the top, so you can see, uh, probably kind of hard to see, but as soon as you get past 30 degrees, you notice it gives you the arrow this way up. We call it the this way out arrow.